is going on, man? It's your home boy, your next door neighbor, Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak. Welcome back to a brand new episode, the very first ever episode of the Sneaker Dome. And yes, we are finally in 2016. Without further ado, man, we're going to jump into some new things on this episode. At the end of every episode, I'm going to try to give you guys some style tips. You know, not not saying you guys don't know how to dress, but just, you know, giving some of my advice. You know, like if you have a job interview or coming up and you don't really know what to wear, I'm your man for that. I'm your guy. You know, certain stuff, you know, that you just want to put together, you're not sure if it look right, and, you know, you got to kind of take chances. I'm your guy for that. So I'm going to be doing some of that at the end of every episode. I'm going to be trying to do that at the end of every episode. Now, without further ado, we're going to jump directly into the topic of the day. The topic of today's episode is facts or fiction. Facts or fiction. As you all may know, Kanye released a song called Facts Around New Year's. Yeezy jumped over the jump man. My personal opinion, I don't agree. Why I don't agree? Not because I don't have any Yeezys. Not because I do wear Jordans and I do wear Nikes. But if we're speaking fact, here's a fact. Yeezy, well, Adidas, you're not releasing the same amount of product that Jordan is. You're not releasing the same amount of product as Nike. So you can't jump over somebody when you're not even releasing the same amount. You know, that's just my personal opinion. You release Yeezys that are super, super, super limited. They sell out. And now you say you're jumping over the Jumpman. No. Jumpman is releasing general release product, general release sneakers, which means it's probably a million pair of shoes that are out here to be to be consumed. And yet, they sell out. Now, as of lately, we we all can, you know, we all can name a few uh Jones that that released that did not sell out, but we all can name a few that definitely did sell out. So, my my whole point if you're not releasing the same amount of numbers, then you, you really have no room to talk. That's just my personal opinion. You know, it's going to be a lot of hype beasts out there. They're going to say, well, yeah, the Yeezy, the Yeezy brand is definitely over jumping over the jump, man. You guys are free to have your own opinion, you know? You guys are free to feel however you want to feel. This is, this is my personal opinion, and I just feel like I feel like that's false. I feel like that's not a fact. What is a fact that <clears throat> the Jordan brand and the Nike brand is releasing tons, tons of products. Like you think about the Blue Murr phones. Wasn't a general release, but kind of was a general release. They sold out. You think about any of the Yeezy products. Any of them, whether it be the 750, the 350s, the clothing, all of it is limited. It's all limited, not mass produced. Meaning what? It's going to sell out. It's only right that it sell out. First of all, if it don't sell out, Kanye, why are you even attached to it? You see what I'm saying? It has to sell out. You throw Kanye West's name on it, you throw the word limited limited on it, it's over. Opposed to some what the KDs. General release to the public. General release. Sold out. Shadow backboard Jordan ones. General release. Sold out. The blue mirror phone posits, again. Somewhat general release, but not so general. Sold out. The Chicago Ones, general release, sold out. None of these are limited. None of these shoes that I'm naming 
from the Jordan brand or the Nike brand are limited, but they're still selling out. Now, granted, we all know some some uh, previous Jordans that recently released that didn't sell out. You know, that's just you know that's just the luck of the draw. You're not gonna everything is not gonna sell out. You know, everything is not gonna sell out. But my personal opinion, the Yeezy brand, no, no, release some some general release shit. Put out some general release Yeezy 350 boost or 750 whatever whatever the case may be put out some general release product and let's see what happened then let's say you do that about uh about 10 years in a row you do that about 10 years in a row and then we can start to really listen to the to facts we can start really listening to that until then I'm sorry man but it's no leg to stand on like I said, it's just no leg to stand on dealing with debt. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's my personal opinion. It's no leg to stand on when you're releasing 500 pairs of shoes. You better sell out. It's, it's almost like damn near impossible for you not to sell out. When you, when you go on Jimmy Jazz Online, they probably have one pair in each size, if that. That's 13 pair. Of course you're going to sell out. This, this is my personal opinion, people. Only my personal opinion. Like I said, man, feel free to comment down below. Let me know exactly what you guys think. If you agree with me, that's cool. If you don't, that's even better. Leave your comment down below. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. I really appreciate you guys for watching. It's your boy Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at the Sneaker Dome. And I'm out. Peace.